Hey there, welcome back, um, or thanks for sticking around if you've been on the site for a while already. Either way, um, yeah, I've got something uh, some in something interesting to smoke today. Um, usually on the weekend, what I what I like to do is is revisit a, uh, um, a cigar that <clears throat> either I've I have smoked sometime in the past and reviewed, or one of the other guys have, and I just kind of want to have my say on on the matter. But this time, um, it's a little different, and well. I think I've done this once before, but I got my hands on a, a Tatawahe Black, and I only got my hands on one. It was uh, it was given to me by uh, an incredibly generous guy uh, at uh, at a Blue Havana to her if I was at, and yeah, I would give him a shout out. But honestly, I don't remember what his name was. But uh, you know, if you're watching, you are a stud, and uh, you know, I have a huge man crush on you for that. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's see if we can get. I've got my nearly lethal amount of lighting on in here so everything has a nice shine to it but uh... all right well you know the Tatawaya Black it's a uh, 5 and 5 eighths by 46 uh, ring gauge cigar um, as you'll notice it has not really a pigtail cap but it's got a little bit of a point to the end I'm not sure what the what the actual term is for that to be honest um, the foot is a little shaggy I've seen it I've seen it uh, called Covered. Yeah, you only got half the quotes there. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, it looks yeah, it looks basically covered. Like uh, you know, they took the the ends and they wrapped it up like it's you know the leaf is ceramic. Kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it's kind of a it's kind of a darker uh, leaf. It's still kind of you know I don't know if I'd call it Maduro. Maybe it's a kind of a really light Maduro. I don't know. I don't know what the technical aspect is, and honestly, I haven't seen a lot of information about these online, um, and yeah, I don't think I've seen any video reviews, and only a few, uh, a few uh, reviews with, uh, um, with uh, some pictures and whatnot. Sorry, my, I gotta remember to turn the stupid phone off here. Um, one thing I did notice is what stands out is it's it's not it's not really rough or anything like that. It's pretty smooth to the touch, but the the veins are. The veins themselves, they're, they're fine and they're really, really light colored. And I'm wondering, I've seen this before in cigars and it's kind of a cool looking thing, so the veins have more of a visual impact than any kind of tactile Im impact. So if you, you know, you try to touch them, you don't really feel them. So I'm wondering if that has something to do with the leaf or if that's something involving, you know, that particular type of leaf or if it's uh, some, some portion of the uh, fermentation process that causes that. Um, you know, the cap looks good. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see any flaws to this, and you know, maybe a little scratch up here, but that could have been me. So, um, I kept this in uh, um, uh, an, an older humidor, one of the first humidors I got that I spent too much money on. And here's one argument for spending too much money on a humidor: it's an old diamond crown, uh, and it has the most amazing aroma when you open the thing. And none of my other cigar humidors smell like this. It has the the, the most incredible rich delicious uh, cedar smell to it with a little bit of tobacco in there so this actually in the the, the week or so that it's been in there it has picked up some of that on the wrapper and I there's a little bit uh, I noticed some some more of a compost descent to it more towards the foot and I can't really get a good read on the foot because hey it's covered you know so uh, I, I don't know maybe to prevent it from becoming stale or something um, okay uh, let's see if there's anything else oh yes uh, the composition of this, I guess it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's kind of a secret. But uh, the my understanding is is the wrapper and the binder are both uh, Nicaraguan and likely the filler is so it may be a Nick Puro, but it, it, not sure. Um, they go for I've seen you can't buy them online because everybody's sold out of them, which is why it's cool to get my hands on one of these. But uh, I've seen them for in the neighborhood of twelve to twelve fifty, you know, a stick, uh, less if you buy more of them. Um, I'm not sure what they'll wind up retailing for. I'm guessing it will probably be pretty close since these are so rare. I can't imagine the internet guys have to discount too much. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, and it's a firm smoke. Uh, you know the the story behind this. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and read a little something from Vitolas.net uh, on the Tatawahe block, black block. Yeah, um, and and fill in a few things here and there that are that I find interesting here. Okay, so the Tatawahe Black. This is a classic Corona Gorda Vitola with a covered foot and a Fuma cap. Oh, there you go, Fuma cap. 
there is a rather intriguing black variant of the usual Tatawahe bands. Uh, the cigar is Pete Johnson's personal cigar. The blend is a closely guarded secret for now, but does use Nicaraguan tobaccos. For some, uh, for some time, the only way to obtain this cigar was to have Pete uh, Johnson hand you one starting in late November 2007. Select Tatawahe dealers have re uh, received bundles of 24 Tatawahe black label cigars per bundle. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to say there. I guess he got some free bundle of these cigars for some number, of, some amount of purchasing. Anyway, I'm just reading what's here. Uh, they will they will be slowly released to vendors as they are made and will be available for sale on special in a special ceramic jar in quarter two of 2008. 19 cigars per jar. And part of the reason I'm smoking this is I'm I'm curious to see if I want to buy one of those and. I'm really glad to be able to try one before buying a freaking uh, ceramic jar and realizing that I do or don't like it. Um, one little bit, one little bit of information before I, I you know get to get to actually you know shut up and smoke this is I've heard some some debate uh, you know amongst cigar geeks um, as to whether or not this is really uh, Pete's a preferred smoke. Um, the rumor is and I've heard it from different sources that it's that's either bogus or this is a variety of or a blend of or some de derivative of what he actually smokes. Don't know if it's true. The official word is this is his smoke, so uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll check it out. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and light this up because I've talked about it long enough, and uh, well, I'll be back in just a minute and uh, give you some initial impressions. I can tell you right off the bat, one thing that uh, I already kind of don't like about this cigar is and I'm, I'm just not digging the uh, the whole uh, covered foot thing. Um, the, the cigar is burning a little unevenly, and I'm thinking it had a little bit to do with the covered foot and the way it, uh, it lit portions of the cigar more faster than the others because it wasn't a, a, a cleanly covered foot. There was actually a little but you could see part of the foot underneath it. Um, but getting beyond that, I mean that's that's kind of trivial. It, it may even out, it may not. I'm not not really sure. So right now it's a little, you know, a little uneven. Um, after after clipping it I, I went ahead and took a took a cold taste and I got a, kind of some raisiny uh, raisiny flavor to it. I didn't get a lot of anything but uh, it was that there was some sweetness there was some raisiny um, I, I have been noticing a lot of kind of a prunish type of a deep uh, I don't know how else to explain it kind of a deep fruity uh, uh, sweetness uh, but this was a little bit more uh, a little a little more syrupy a little bit more raisiny a little bit maybe more resembling uh, a flavor you might get out of port which you know occurs to me that um, let's make it go well with port but uh, yeah we'll, we'll wait on that um, so, you know, the first the first puff off of it, or a couple of puffs, I, it was kind of nutty, it was a little bit of spice, a little bit of cedar, um, it, it was good, kind of creamy, um, and then, like, almost almost immediately, a puff or two later, it's it's gotten a lot more peppery, and uh, it, it kind of, right now, pepper is, is what I'm getting more than anything else, I'm not really, the, I think the nuttiness is there, but the thing is, the, the, the pepper is just kind of bulldozing right over the top of it, it's like, you know, nut, 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 pepper, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so you get a little bit of that. But, uh, you know, so far, uh, yeah, that's been interesting. But, you know, geez, I'm, I'm in maybe half an inch at the most. So, not even that, a quarter of an inch, so. Yeah, it's, it's peppery, a little bit of savoriness in there. It's hard for me to de determine much what's under there. I think that there's some other flavor under there, but I, I'm just not, you know, it's the pepper is a little too strong for me this morning. I, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to drink a little bit more of my uh, my coffee, which, by the way, I I just finished off the last of my. Uh, it's a little, it's a little bag of stuff. Yeah, I really should have finished it sooner. See, three thirty oh eight, place called East City, a little little uh, coffee shop, little roaster down in uh, in. Uh, South Carolina, so I'm, I'm finishing off the last of that with this, so it's it's 
kind of sad. I'm going to have to drive up there again sometime. But uh, I'm going to have to drink a lot more water, I think, to try to keep the palate clean because this is, you know, this may, you know, basically use my tongue as a punching bag and I may not be able to, to, to taste the, the finer nuances later on into the smoke. But uh, uh, let's see. So let's, let's give it one more. Since I'm, you know, recording right now, let's give it one more puff and see if I can get anything more out of it. And there's something else there. Um, the pepper is, is subsided a little bit. Um, creamy. It's a little bit nutty. I, it's it's. I think it's a combination of kind of nut, nuts and wood, and it's it's kind of the way it's combined. It's kind of hard for me to, to distinguish it. But uh, you know, you just you got to keep keep trying this, and it gets easier as you do it. So uh, anyway, all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this a little bit more, and uh, come back and let you know what I think a little further in. I, I went on and on and I didn't hit the record button. I, well, I'm back and uh, I'm going to show this off again. Uh, the uh, the ash the the, uh, the burn lines even out uh, considerably. Um, I got to remember here what all did I say while the, the camera was off. Um, yeah, it's it's evened out, uh, so it's made up for you know my issues with getting it lit properly in the beginning. Um, 360. You can see everything. I'm having to be careful because I, I don't know how, how sturdy this ash really is. It looks pretty sturdy, but it's kind of curved, so I'm thinking it's going to fall off. So I, I keep puffing up, leaning over to puff over it over the little ashtray I've got here. Um, the, the flavor, uh, as I was saying, um, it's, you know, the pepperiness, but the pepperiness seems like it's kind of receding to the back of your throat. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really in the back of the tongue, you know, uh, you know, roof of the mouth. It's kind of, as I was saying, as I mentioned off camera, <laughs> it's kind of like this this uh, cigar is, is stepped in my throat, you know, so to speak, in, a, in kind of a pleasant way. So um, the front, I, I was getting uh, kind of a, a, a flavor of the, in the front of my tongue. It was kind of a, a wet savoriness that I, I really couldn't describe other than that. Um, and I just took another puff off of it, and it uh, it kind of uh, it was earthy and earthy and a little peppery to begin with, but then as it moved through, it, it, it kind of yeah, a little bit of a sweet nutty flavor came out of it, and uh, yeah, so it's really kind of a kind of an interesting, complicated uh, set of flavors there. So I'm, I, I can see why I'm having some issues kind of describing what I'm getting here, but uh, you know, so far so good. Um, do my give it a 360 here. Earth and maybe a little bit of leather coming in now, but uh, yeah, it's 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 interesting. It's not it's not like uh, hitting you with a baseball bat flavor. It's it's full, but it's it's not uh, it's not overwhelming you. It's there's still some subtlety to it. So it, it strikes me as, as being a, a good cigar so far. But uh, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, one of the things uh, I was looking around at Cigar Live. Uh, I noticed that uh, Pete Johnson's on there, and every now, he, uh, now and then he posts something. Well, earlier this year he posted something about the Tatawahe Black, or maybe last year. But apparently he spent some time in a in a an unnamed island famous for making cigars. I, I have no idea what that could be. Maybe, uh, is that Grand Habana? Whatever. The Grand Habana. God, I cannot say. I keep wanting to say Grand Habana. Anyway. Bahamas, Grand Bahama Island, that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe it's that. It, I mean, I, I don't know what island is famous for making cigars. Uh, I, I, I really... <laughs> this needs to be in a gag reel. Um, so, it, apparently, he spent some time on this island, and uh, he met some guy that was giving him cigars that I, he said that were, uh, were, I guess, kind of attractive, but he really enjoyed the experience. And, and he went, he basically came back, and what he wanted to do was recapture that in a a cigar. So, if, you know, if you're interested, go over to Cigar Live, read it. You know, it's a charming little story. Um, and this is his his tribute or his attempt to recapture that that smoking experience in a stick that he you know he can find here, he can make here. Um, yeah, I think that that just about covers it.
I'm impressed with the ash. It's it's still it's still hanging on there. So uh, we'll see how long it we'll see how long we can keep that guy going. And uh, I'll be back in a bit. Probably in somewhere in two thirds. I I would say. I'm back. Um, I'm having less difficulty distinguishing the flavors now. Um, it's it's coming through with. Oh, let me let me actually show you the cigar. It's it's coming through nice and sav uh, nice and kind of like a savory or a buttery cedar. A lot of really great cedar flavor out of this thing right now. Of course, there's some spiciness. So it, it's a little bit on the peppery side, but I mean it's not it's not really dominating it like it it had been. Ooh, look at that! You've got to see everything, and that's Twitter. Um, <laughs> But, uh, you know, the uh, it finally ashed, um, it, big inch and a half long ash, really nice. Um, it's looking, you know, the ash is looking great. It's still, you know, it's a little it's a little uneven if you look at it, but, I mean, it's, uh, it's no big deal, honestly. Um, it's kind of, I'm kind of a little sad at this point, you know, in, in the, uh, the review because I realized this is the only one I've got. Um, but, uh, you know, of course, if... Pete Johnson happens to be watching this, he, he can feel free to send me some more. I'll be happy to review them again, if, <laughs> if necessary. Anyway, um, enough of the, uh, the whoring myself out for cigars. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been good. Um, it's, it's definitely made a move towards uh, kind of a, uh, you know, a actually creamy, buttery type of, uh, of cedar with, with some spiciness. And the, the cedar, uh, especially it, when it, when I was first getting in the second, third, it just really kind of opened up in the finish. It was it, it was really nice. I mean, it was uh, it was a very nice effect, very enjoyable. Um, yeah, I, I can see that uh, at this point I'm thinking this this could be something I, I do want to spring for a jar. Of, um, but you know, it's it's a little early in the process. I mean, we do have a little way to go. It could be it could, you know, just tar up and become a complete ass on me if you know, not likely, I'm just saying it could, you know, so I'm gonna reserve my thoughts until the very end. But uh, definitely uh, you know it's, it's definitely uh, sh shaping up to be a nice smoke so far. Um, I thought I'd just really quick, um, as as you probably have heard the the Jerry and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I can't Click to riff, I believe, is his, his handle on on boards and Twitter and whatnot. Have uh, are doing a thing. Uh, well, I think Mike's mostly doing the thing, but uh, you know Jerry's giving you know giving it the thumbs up. The whole uh, if you buy from his GourmetFlames.com website uh, candles, um, a portion of the proceeds goes to uh, I think it's uh, something called First Candle, which is is to you know help fund research into sudden infant death syndrome. Nobody knows. What it cause, you know, what it is. It just, you know, hence the name, sudden, sudden infant death. You know, it just suddenly happens. But I went ahead and made made my purchase, and here's here's the one, the chili vanilla that uh, that that uh, Jerry really recommends, and it's it's kind of it's kind of a neat, uh, you know, kind of a sweet vanilla and citrus type of scent, maybe a little spiciness in there. It's pretty neat. Um, it, it does a great job of covering up uh, the cigar uh, the smoke and cigar aroma. My wife actually uh, lit one up this morning. The one I've been actually smoking, the, the, or, or smoking, <laughs> burning the most is one called Coffee Break, which I, I tend to favor a coffee and more uh, more spicy, earthy, manly type of sense if I'm going to burn a candle. So, uh, but I had that in here, and it was overwhelming my ability to tell you what, you know, to get any kind of a read on what the aroma of the wrapper of, of this was. So I'm like, well, i got to move that out of here. So I, I did, but it does a great job, and I got my wife sold on, on the idea, so she complains a little less. And she's, anytime it starts to smell like uh, cigars, she lights up one of those candles. So it's it's a good thing. I, I recommend going out and, you know, supporting the cause and, you know, buying, buying a... Uh, you know, you help yourself out. You uh, keep your keep your place from smelling like uh, dead cigars. And, you know, although I, I kind of like it. I walk into my place now, and there's a there's kind of a rich uh, kind of a cigar shop smell now when we come in. I, I think it might be a loop, slightly offensive to people who aren't into cigars. I know my wife doesn't like it, but hey, I I, I you know walk in and take a uh, a big smell. It's like it smells of rich cigar, and my wife always hits me every time I do that. So you know. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm going to go ahead and smoke this guy further in. Um, 
because I've been doing a lot of rambling. I think I've already racked up more to eating into 15 minutes here, and I know you guys are getting bored, and uh, I'm just not pretty enough to look at for 15 minutes. And you, while the cigar is, I, I it doesn't spend as much time on the camera talking as I do. So uh, stick around. I'll be back in just a second. I'm back. I'm just about down to the band here. Um, I'm going to be taking that off and smoking it <clears throat> a little bit further in than the band will will allow, which some people do, some people don't. I do. It depends. I just let the cigar tell me when it's done, so uh, right now it's it's not done, clearly. <laughs> I actually just moved it up a little bit, so... so. But, uh, yeah, um, since I last chimed in, uh, Oh, yeah, you know, I, I forgot, I was talking about the Gourmet Flames thing in the uh, uh, the SIDS research, and, you know, I should have mentioned that uh, the coupon code, which is right here, oops, moving the wrong finger here, uh, SR2008 is what you need, so GourmetFlames.com, uh, uh, SR2008, I believe, is the, uh, the keyword. If you don't put that in, uh, the proceeds, I'll go into uh, Mike's pocket, which I'm sure he won't mind, but, uh, you know, he, you know you're doing that for that specific reason it's a good idea anyway so yeah back to back to the smoke um, uh, yeah so so far uh, the, the cedar that I, I mentioned before uh, it, it seems like that's come to the that's that's pretty much been the prominent uh, flavor throughout the, uh, the the duration of the second third and I'm, I'm just inside uh, just inside the uh, um, the final third of this smoke and uh, it's still it's been creamy uh, it, the cedar, it was buttery, kind of a buttery cedar with a little bit of the peppery spice in the background, but it was, just, it was not as, as dominant as it was earlier on in the smoke. And it's, it's actually taken on a little bit, little bit of a tanginess to it, uh, the cedar, but it's still, there's still some creaminess, some savoriness. Occasionally it's a little on the buttery side, a little wet. But for the most part, part it's like a tangy cedar uh, flavor with a bit of... Uh, just a little bit of spice, a little bit of, uh, maybe a little bit of pepper in there, so, uh, it hasn't changed too much at that point, I'm, I'm getting the impression, um, it, I'm not likely to, to find much more in terms of changes in, in what's left of the cigar. But you never know. Um, and maybe a little bit of leather in there, uh, mixed in with kind of the Kind of the tanginess of maybe it seems like possibly the cedar is starting to recede a little bit um we'll see how that goes but i gotta say um i'll, I'll probably stop you know i'll probably video just one more segment into this but i i, I like this cigar I, it's a shame i just have this one um i think it's an enjoyable one um in terms of you know i've smoked a kind of a random assortment of, of uh Tatawahe smokes and i don't know if this is my favorite one uh to be honest um I had a really great experience with the, the Cajonu uh, two, 2006. I know Jerry likes the 2003, but I, I've smoked both of those and, and found the 2006 uh, so far is probably my favorite of, of the, the Tatawais I've smoked. But I mean, I've I smoked a random assortment, like I said, and you know, I don't even remember what some of them are <laughs> because you know, it's just a you just, different sizes and just colors of band. Um, but so far, I think the the 2006 Cajonu is is uh, is is my favorite of the line. But this is a good smoke. I mean, I, I would I would uh, probably smoke more of these, and there's a good chance I'll pick up that jar if I have the opportunity. But the thing about that is, is those things move quickly. I know it was for you know there were some for sale earlier this year, and they were gone in like a week, I think. So I mean, they're really hard to come by. I think they're. Honestly, I think this is, it is Tatawahe's <clears throat> Opus X or something like that, or it's going to wind up being that because my understanding is is they're going to be, you know, available to retailers as the production allows. So these people will probably have kind of an open order, send us what, everything you can, whenever you can, and uh, they'll sell them out. Just announce them and, and sell them out. So it'll just be kind of whenever they're ready, they'll be they'll be available. So. That's my guess. Um, I don't know what the actual production is going to be on these, but uh, that's the, the only word I've seen so far. Seems like it's you know they're available as they become available. So yeah, that's that's about it. Um, so I'll go ahead and smoke this a little bit further. I, I I'm thinking it's you know in terms of more thoughtful and 
insightful and interesting aspects of the cigar. I, I would say it's probably just about done with that, but uh, I'll chime in in a few minutes and, and let you know what I, uh, my final thoughts are on it. Stay put. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad I ca captured that on camera. Uh, you saw my, my keyboard just getting obliterated by a Tatawahe Black. It just, uh, I was gonna try to show off that last long ash that was that was on the uh, on the little nub of a cigar that's left, and uh, <laughs> uh, the timing was off. Anyway, so I'm, I'm nearly done with this thing. I'm, I'm probably not gonna smoke too much further into it. Uh, it's it's getting to the point where it's difficult to, to hold. It's it's getting a nice uh, nice and tangy, a um, little bit of earthy leather to it. Um, I think some of the kind of the interesting aromatic cedar is still there, but it's it's a little harder to find. I'm not really getting too much of the pepperiness out of it. Um, just a little bit, like a a little bit of a taste of it, like a, I don't know. Thinking maybe after pepper's been sitting around in your mouth for a while, there's still a little bit of it left, but uh, not not too much. So um, yeah, it's you know it's been an enjoyable cigar. I think it's I think it's a good smoke. Um, I think a lot of a lot of Tatawahi uh, uh, smokers will enjoy it. Man, I'm <laughs> it's a it's got a little bit of a kick to it. I'm I'm feeling a, little, a slight a slight amount of buzz. So it, it's it's probably something that might be a little much for some. Uh, some newer smokers uh, or people who smoke milder smokes. It's a, uh, I would say it's it's full bodied. Um, like I said, it's a little bit of a kick to it. And I decided to go for the uh, the the pinky ring uh, Tatawahe uh, thing instead of the uh, the band on the forehead since it uh, it slid off nicely without having to tear it off or rip through the wrapper or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so a good smoke. I, I I actually recommend this if you can find them. I think it's a it's a good it's a good uh, cigar to, to smoke. One to good one to pick up. Man, it's it's a good thing I ate before this too. I'm just thinking, man, I, I almost didn't, and I thought, ah, well, you know, it's Tanawahe, it's Tanawahe Black. It's probably gonna have a little oomph to it. Um, I you know I I don't think it's as strong as is you know. It's not as strong as some of the uh, the really potent uh, Camachos I've had, but uh, you know it's you know, got a little bit of a kick to it. Um, let's see, the the only other thing, I mean, in terms of the ash, I think it's the ash has been nice, nice and light, nice and solid. Uh, it did fall off at one point at only half an inch, which I was a little disappointed by, but it's made up for it by every other inch has been an inch or, or longer, so it's it's been good. Hard to tell about the one that fell on the keyboard because <laughs> that one blew up and took out the entire right half of the keyboard so uh, um, in terms of the draw that's one thing I didn't mention I tend to fer, uh, prefer a, a little bit of a looser draw this this one was was good to a little on the firm side so uh, not a bad thing I think you know a lot of people like it that way um, I don't you know I don't I don't really mind it, it it's uh, it was just a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, Effort required to pull it through, you know. So it's not, a, you know, not a not a big thing. Um, like I said, I prefer it slightly looser, um, but you know, uh, no no problems there. Uh, the burn line, you know, is is actually nice and even. Um, I didn't get any tar or anything else. Uh, really, I, I I'm having a hard time coming up with anything bad to say about it, other than the initial lighting where I had some issues with the uh, the quote unquote covered foot. Um, yeah, it's it's been a good smoke. Um, I recommend it. I really do. Um, I'm thinking I'll probably pick some up and uh, probably enjoy them. Now, in terms of my ranking on the, the Tatawahe scale of, of smokes, I, I still think I I like the the Kahonu 2006 that I had. I just it, the, the flavor profile to me was was more enjoyable. I, I find that that one just really clicked with me. This one's good though, um, and like I said, I think you know, just about anybody will enjoy it. And I'm rambling again, so uh, I think I think with that, I don't really have any other random stuff to add. I'm going to have to, you know, call it a call it a uh, review, I suppose. So uh, I've got to say, long ashes. So I'll catch you next time.
and I approve this cigar review. Oh yeah!